access memory okay earlier we were studying that random access memory because once the location is given it can be access any once the address is given it can read any data from any address okay that is random serial access memory is different from random access memory random access memory means if in a given memory if the address is given any particular location we can access directly to that location but serial access memory is different we cannot access directly to that particular address there is no nothing like that we have to access one after another we'll see that how that happens take for example three cells okay three cells are there data contains 1 0 0 this is read signal so this is input okay this is also called this is one register see here the difference is that he earlier what we have the, have the situation each cell there is a input line for that here input line here input line here earlier but here that there is only one input line okay so output of the first cell output of the first cell is connected to the input of the next cell like this okay this output is connected to input of this cell okay like this so finally we have only one output okay so here we have only one output cell that means at a time whenever we give the read signal we can access only one bit and at the same time we can only write to one bit if you issue a write signal it will give write the only one bit. for example how the read write signal operation happens for example first you give the write operation read operation So if you issue the read signal, what will happen? What will happen? It will read this output. One is here in the output register. So it will just give the output of only this one value. Just this, this one only it will read. Because it don't read all these things. Because output is connected to only one cell. Okay. So it will read. Okay. It will read one. So if you want, if you write. If you give the right signal what will happen this one bit for example here 0 is the input okay what will happen this 0 will be written to this register okay and 1 is there this one will be written into the this register this 0 will be there this will be written into the this register okay this one will be the output as you already read okay now what will make what will this happens this will become 0 this will become 1 this will become 0 so after one read write we will read 1 and the registers after writing 0 this is the contents of the register this register also called shift register because it is shifting the contents okay shifting content either to left or right depending upon the configuration okay this is all also called shift register one more type is there if the input this output this is the output we are finally reading so if this output is taken back and connected to the input so what will happen these numbers will completely keep on rotating rotating okay this is called circular memory circular shift register okay this is the type, one type of serial access memory because we are accessing only one bit serially one after other first this one again after it this one like this serially we are accessing okay this is serial access memory one more type of serial accessing type is there they are using that magnetic tapes magnetic magnetic recordings else we will see that so in magnetic type of that there is a memory for example these are cells okay so some data is there there is some read write head this is what read write head read or write head this is the head so for example read operation if the reader write this is the direction of the movement of the tape or something whatever it may be okay this is the magnetic recording usually magnetic recording so what will happen when this read write comes in it this read write head will read the 
this one okay first it will read zero serially next this will move in this direction okay the tape for example tape record you have known you illustrate that one tape record over cassettes you have seen that that sequential one. next it will come see this will move here so next it will read one zero next it will read zero next this one that's zero zero like that it keeps on reading okay this is the reading operation of the reading head similarly if you want to write for example you want to write one zero zero and okay Down. first what will happen it will write this one here this is moving in this direction okay first what this one will come okay it will write here one will come here after that this one will come this one will come so it will write zero here after that this one will come zero here again one zero zero it will write like this understand so here we are writing serially and reading serially and this is the movement of the tape here there is we can't access a particular location because there is we cannot specify some address and we cannot retrieve the data for that particular location because we have to access all the data serially only here so it is a non-addressable memory serial access memory is non addressable memory okay not to remember this this is very simple actually serial access memory